Maybe you're heading out for a road trip this week for the 4th of July or any time this summer. Well, between gas, food, your hotel room, and entertainment, a family road trip can be costly. So on tonight's Don't Waste Your Money report, a travel blogger helps us save. For many families, a week's vacation is easy, two grand or more. Not for Amy Graff. Oh, yeah, you made a star. This travel blogger with a website called On the Go with Amy is driving cross country on a $200 a day budget. We are on a family road trip. We are started in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and we're driving 800 miles. Her family has done this three years in a row now. We've done Route 66. We've um, driven Highway 5 in California, Washington, and Oregon. Amy's first way to save, leave the full-size SUV at home. It's very tempting to take the SUV. It's roomy, but those things are gas hogs. A mid-size car, she says, if you've got one, saves hundreds of dollars in gas. And yes, the kids are comfortable. Then on to hotels. Full disclosure here, Amy's blog is sponsored by Best Western Hotels. But Amy says any modern roadside chain will work. She says you can still find clean rooms for under $100 a night if you avoid downtown or the heart of a tourist town. The TripAdvisor.com app can help you find a good one with free perks. They tend to offer free breakfast, free parking. Another tip, Amy makes sure the hotel has a pool for free kids playtime. I mean, let's face it, all kids really want to do is, is swim. Also free state parks where you can fill an afternoon with hiking and exploring. Amy visits theme parks and museums late in the day for discounts. That's how they did the Andy Warhol Museum for just a few bucks. We went on Friday night after 5 o'clock when admission is half off. And to avoid those frustrating summertime traffic jams, be sure to have a real-time traffic app like Waze or Inrix. And she beats, Amy says, skip the sit-down chains where a family can spend 60 bucks a meal. Instead, she says, visit roadfood.com, which finds inexpensive places where the locals eat. Bottom line, with a little planning, you can lower the cost of that family road adventure.